Alright, this one's going to be on a command line cheat sheet program called Cheat. So, if you have those one-liners or a code that you use a lot but you're not going to remember, then you can always use this program to organize it and then search it later on if you need to pull up those code. Now, this one's for mainly for code, but you can actually use it for anything uh, like cooking recipes or, you know, anything really. But, uh, how you use it here. So you do cheat, you can do dash H for all the help here. So this is a D to list all your directories. So you can actually have multiple directories if you want to save it somewhere else. Um, then it will pull up, you know, the cheat sheet for different directories. This one is to edit. If you have an existing cheat sheet, you can actually edit it. Or else, uh, if you want to create a new one, and then this one will also create a new um, cheat sheet too, if it doesn't exist already. So this one is to list out all your cheat sheet, and then they do have a search function, uh, you know, whatever. How to use this here though? Cheat dash L, right? And this one will uh, show all your cheat sheet that you have currently. So some of them does come by default, like this one from um, the root directory here. Like this one, it says for Yaward, uh, YouTube DL, so on and so forth. So they give you some examples. You don't actually have to, uh, well, you can actually edit them if you want and then create your own. Now, once you edit them or you create a new one, uh, it'll go into your cheat um, directory here, your dot cheat directory in your home folder. And these are all your cheat sheets, right, by name here. So you can pull them up. You can do cheat. And let's say we do uh, the zip folder, uh, the zip uh, cheat sheet here. Right, and I'll show you what it does here. So this one is a comment, create a zip file, and this is the command here. Um, so on and so forth. Now you want to pull up another one. Let's say we do YouTube DL, whatever. Right, we'll do YouTube DL, and there you go. This is it for YouTube DL, and so on and so forth. If you do uh, said, and they do have color uh, syntax highlighting here. Uh, you actually have to enable that. So it's how to enable that here. To enable it, you go put this into your either your Bash RC or ZSHRC, and just do an export um, cheat colors equals true, so on and so forth. And you have uh, color syntax hunting. Now the color one, um, it does work, but you know it doesn't work for. Well, it doesn't work like the way that I want it to work for with other uh, cheat sheet. So it only works with very few cheat sheets that do have uh, syntax highlighting. Like for example, if I do uh, cheat tar or something like that, you know, there's no colors all white, which is kind of annoying. I personally wish they just have no syntax highlighting and just do pure colors. So commented out lines will be like, I don't know, yellow and the code will be white. Or maybe this one is in green and this one is in red or something like that. That's personally what I, I like to see because most of the time when I do a cheat sheet or whatever, it'll just be in all white text. I mean, sometimes they'll you know do some uh, syntax hiding with this kind of thing with uh, the escape code and all of that, which is kind of annoying. Uh, I just wish they just do colors only. Forget the syntax hiding, right? Just do colors. Uh, anyways, without that, uh, that's how it looks like here. If you want to edit something, let's say I do um, what did we do before awk here. Right, we can do that E and we'll edit the, the awk file and you can actually add a new one here. Let's say this one is uh, testing for uh, YouTube. Right, and then whatever your awk command is and then you can save it. And then now when you do uh, cheat uh, awk, you have that uh, whatever you typed in, uh, you know, in the file here and you look it up. Now, you know, after you do all that for, let's say, a lot of uh, different cheat sheet, and you don't remember where it is or whatever, but you remember what you wrote, then you know, let's do uh, the search function, cheat dash s here, and I can search for like that YouTube uh, comment that I did, right? And there you go, it says, oh, look at this, this is a uh, YouTube test thing for YouTube that we wrote, and there you go, it searches up in our results, and this one's an awk. And this one's for YouTube DL, and they do have this other one for, um, you know, all these other ones for uh, YouTube DL here. Uh, the thing I don't like about this search function is that um, 
it doesn't give you the block of code. So let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. If I'm searching for um, integers or something here, you'll see that it will show me the line that it has the word integer in. But personally, what I want to see when I, I see a search result is give me the fucking block of code too. Because this one is not that useful. I want to see the code. That's what I'm, I'm searching for. Uh, but it doesn't do that. So what you actually have to do is do a two-step if your block of code doesn't show up, right? You would have to do searching it, and then you have to actually uh, open uh, each file. Now, this one is only one file for the integer, so I know it's in awk here, right? But if I was going to do this for, um, let's say if I search for a name or something like that, Right in here, uh, they do have a bunch of files, right? Look at this. They have one for app cache, aptitude, uh, so on and so forth. I would have to pull up all of one that, uh, let's say aptitude, I would pull this one up because I don't know what the hell this is because they don't give me the code under it or something like that. Um, what else is there? Let's say this one, C, C split or whatever. They give me the comment, but they don't give me the code. So I would have to pull up that one individually. So it's a waste of time. Same thing with date here. This one shows me what the comment is, but they don't show me the code. So the search function is okay. I just think it's, it would be better if they actually give me the block of code also. All right. So I think that's about it. Oh, yeah. Another issue is that they give you like... Um, they do have files for uh, auto completion for bash, fish, and zsh. The zsh shit, I don't know. They don't give me instructions on how to where to put that or how to get that working because I tried all that shit but it didn't work. Anyways, I resorted to creating my own uh, auto completion. So this is what I got in my zshrc here. This is how you do auto complete here for um, your cheat sheet otherwise you have to type it out manually now I can actually just tab it and then I'll give you auto complete so this is how I did it as composed uh, as compared to um, you know their files that they have on their um, github there anyways so now when you type in cheat and then uh, just type in um, what was that tab here you can actually auto complete the different ones so let's say T mugs look at that or let's say what is that cheat T tab and then you can tab through them right so on and so forth anyways that is the program and I'll post you my auto completion uh, in the description below that'll be a fifth one